Valyrian and the City of a Thousand Planets, a movie directed by Luke Basson, the same man behind uh, Leon the Professional, Lucy, and the Fifth Element, stars two special human ops, special ops human agents, uh, Valyrian and Laureline, played by Dane DeHaan and Cara Delevingne. 400 new years in the future, these two must defeat a spent must defeat a threat, a big threat, like a mysterious threat that could threaten all life on this huge sp huge planet, all life on Earth, all life in the universe, sorry, and it's a place where they share their knowledge and culture with one another. Now, before this review, you probably saw the lukewarm reception it got with both critics and audiences, the 50% of Rotten Tomatoes. How people say it was a visual wonder, but lacking a bit in story and character development. Here's the thing. I, I didn't think it was that bad. I thought it was a fun movie. You know, just a time to turn my brain off for two hours and just enjoy what is being shown. But, don't get me wrong, it was dumb in some places. You It, it could tell there, there was some plot holes and that stuff, but it's an enjoyable movie and I did understand why it underperformed this premiered fifth with only 18 million with probably an over 200 million dollar budget as you could tell it's not that hard to see why this could be a big flop but it was released on the same weekend as Dunkirk the magnum opus that Christopher Nolan brought to us. You see, that movie was... I, I reviewed that movie. I said a lot of good things. And what moved that plot forward in that movie, what made that movie great was its direction, it, its direction, its effects, and its action sequences. That Those were the greatest moments in the movie, personally, for me. But don't get me wrong, it will be a fun time. If you, For parents out there who are watching this, if you want to bring your kid up, Absolutely, they'll have fun. It's a perfect way for you and your child to kill kill a few hours at the movie theater or just kill a few hours in a day. But it is dumb in some places, but it's uh, don't get me wrong. When I go into a movie, I don't expect the next Citizen Kane or Space or the 2001 Space Odyssey. I just expect a fun time. And that's what I got with this movie, but I will get into the spoiler part of this mo of this review, so I'm gonna give you 10 seconds. Let's go. I'm gonna start off by saying it. I can't believe Laureline died at the end. Oh no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. If you. Stuck around and you haven't seen the movie yet. Go! I gave you 10 seconds. That should have been good enough. Anyways, for those of us, go see the movie, come back. So for those of us who saw the movie, I'm going to start off by pointing out the good stuff. I enjoyed the visual effects. I enjoyed the worlds, the creatures that were in this movie, the backgrounds. This whole universe looks so beautiful. Especially the big alien spaceship that all life is in. That were, that contains all life in the universe. That was that was amazing. And I especially one of the best parts of the movie come from visual effects, where Valerian has the uh, has to do the free run thing, where he goes from sprinting to jumping to stuff that is jumping on stuff that his gun shoots out to swimming. That was cool. But uh, then again, it could be. I did notice some similarities between this movie and the Star Wars prequels, where the big similarity is that they spent a little more time on the visual effects, the worlds, the aliens, instead of, you know, stuff like story and character development. And that was a big, big turnoff for me. That, I see what more, what more work went into. I noticed some very big plot holes, like the part at the beginning where we find out, well, we find out later that this girl who's on the plant mule, which dies at the beginning, explodes, 
we all remember. And she transfers her soul into another person, and he ha to Valyrian. He has visions, and I was just thinking, uh, they all, if they all could have, if they all wanted to, why didn't they all just do that with other people? Like they would have survived. That would have been the easier survival, and no one would have known, and they wouldn't have, been, their species wouldn't have been threatened by the commander, who was played by Clive Owen. He's the villain. He had the best performance in the movie. But, and I also noticed another plot hole where Valyrian had to get to this place using a spaceship to catch this guy, and he gets trapped somewhere. And all Laurelian has to do is just walk there and save him. And, um, there's very little character development. We know little to nothing about most of the characters. We don't know a lot about Valyrian. Or Laureline. Or the commander. Or basically anybody. There's little character development. I found that a bit weird. I didn't know these characters. So if you want... And a big thing about character development is you want to care about these characters. You want them to... If they die, you want to be sad. If they live, you want to be joyous and happy. But... No, that didn't happen. Especially with Rihanna's character, uh, Bubble. I thought Rihanna gave an okay performance. It was better than when she was in Battleship. But still, um, that was quite hard to see because the best character development I could find on her was the best I could describe her was she was a performer hired by like taken in by a pimp that's it that's it really so when she dies like when when they do that thing and she dies from being buried in rubble I didn't really feel that death because there's little character I knew nothing about this character all I know is that she wanted that she was an illegal immigrant who was hired by a pimp to be a performer like a transforming performer and I I didn't find her death to be very emotional. If there was more character development, that would have been one of the saddest moments in the movie. But it wasn't. But, and then I did find there was, I felt there was also little to no chemistry between Dane DeHaan and Cara Delevingne, who were Valyrian and Laureline. And that their love story, that Laureline was his love interest, and he asked to marry her just on the spot, just cause. And it, I don't, it didn't make any sense. Basically, their love story, it felt very, very rushed. And the message is about, you know, love does not, love breaks all law, love is not, does not uphold laws. I didn't understand that moral. I didn't. But don't get me wrong, it was fun. I, I enjoyed I enjoyed those uh, action sequences, especially the part where Valyrian has to go into that into a market, into another dimension. That was cool. I liked that part. Fun fact, do you know John Goodman's in this movie? Yeah, look it up. He's actually in it. It's it's quite cool fact. But I felt like there could have been a little bit more character development and time in the story. I, for the villain especially, I forgot to mention, the villain, played by Clive Owen, just mentioned that, um, I didn't feel his motive. His motive was, he acts, when they were fighting a war above this paradise world, the world where, where it blew up and that girl sent her conscience to Valyrian, to find those things to help their planet survive. I did not feel that motive. I didn't feel a motive because he destroyed that world by accident and he wants to he wants to cover his mistake by killing all these killing the rest of the people off. I didn't feel that motive very much. I really didn't. I just don't know. It's still fun. You'll still enjoy it. It's still an enjoyable movie. Don't get me wrong. 
There's just little, 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 or little to big things. Sometimes it's big, sometimes it's little things that can throw you out of the story. I rate Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets a 5.5 out of 10. Basically, it gets a 5 alone for the visual effects, the creatures, the worlds, it, the background, the universe that was built. It was so beautiful, but I thought they could have spent more time on character development, plot, and story. Just a little more. Um, but that has been my review. It was enjoyable. I quite liked it. I'm sure you guys liked it too. For those of you who have seen it, it bombed a little. But I think more people should see this movie because it's quite enjoyable and fun. And that's a perfect way to spend your summer at the theater. So that has been my review. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. Uh, these have been my, that has been my review. And I'll see you soon.